Marker. Steph. Marker. Aaron. Marker. I'm sick of the internet, baby, I'm so over it too I'd do anything to be right beside you Our new song, No Duh, is out now. Uh, this is the first track that we've put out uh, in 2022. No Duh, where do I start? When I was a boy. <laughs> the origin story of No Duh is kind of interesting um, because it was a song that I had intended to be kind of hidden forever and was never supposed to happen. Um, it's the first song that we put out after our fourth EP that was called How to Lose Yourself. So we really wanted to do it the right way. We wanted to be really intentional with what song uh, we came back with. The baseline DNA was something that came up with maybe like a uh, year, year and a half ago. I'd taken a trip with some friends to New Orleans and uh, a couple people in that group were rappers. I like threw a beat together real quick and it was very different. It was more of like a hard, tough kind of, uh, kind of trap beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the sample we all know. Uh, one day, me and Josh were here, and he was far enough away that he kind of misheard the key of the song. And he like ran over, and we changed the key and, and moved some notes around, and it very quickly turned into uh, the no duh that it is now. All I heard was, and then I was like, la, 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 la. so then I ended up taking it in and moving it to new chords, which were. It's just like that. It felt like a song. You know, thankfully, things have been going pretty well for us, and music's been coming that's, it's less over-encumbered, it's less depressed, it's, I would say, like, cautiously joyful. We wanted to find a song that didn't feel like too far of a departure. We wanted it something that was gonna, like, really ease the transition from the How to Lose Yourself era to the new music that we want to put out this year. I joined Saint Slumber in a very peculiar time. The band experience has been non-existent just because of the pandemic. It finally feels like we're able to be a band and just overall that whole energy is bringing the song to life obviously it's it's me complaining about stuff <laughs> it's the hook is me complaining about how sick i am of being on the internet all the time but at the same time there's like a obviously like a happiness to it it was really cool seeing um, our community respond to it everybody has been very very warm and welcoming to the track we we had these songs and we had the next oh, rec yeah. record figured out but we were like how do we get back into this this next era and then this just came out of nowhere it all happened very quickly kids man one, two, three, kismet. kismet. <laughs> a lot of the record kind of plays with that theme about how like you lose yourself and you start to like lose touch with yourself the more you um, get lost in other things. So this is a song about kind of like shedding all of those layers and wanting to get back to the tangible, want to get back to the corporeal. You know, I think like the first track when I, that came out when I was in, it's okay to be afraid, but I, was that official? That is That was bleak as, as <laughs> <laughs> just comparing all the releases so far, it's just been such a wide variety of moods and feelings. Obviously, there's a sort of nostalgia to the term no duh. Uh, we were asking some of our younger fans if they knew what that meant, and <laughs> a lot of people don't, and that... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, which is like, no duh what? Like, what does that mean? Uh, which definitely makes me feel like I'm a thousand years old. Um, so just kind of putting that in the hook, reminding me of childhood, live life in the here and now, not on the cell phone, definitely reminds me of childhood. I guess, I guess we're back. I guess, I guess this is back. it. We're Let's back. go. Yeah. And uh, we're back. <laughs> it's the story of no duh. Duh. I'm over it,